We're here with Jared Bernhardt. Jared, you look like you had a good year in the weight room, a good summer in the weight room. Not too bad. Did yeah. you? Yeah, I did. You know, back home, um, you know, uh, train at DTS, John and Olivia Davis, um, you know, did a great job. Our strength coach, uh, Eric Rhodes, also did a phenomenal job when we got back, you know, getting guys, um, you know, ready to play. All right, you know, I don't have to say anything, but you and Curtis and probably Bubba and a few other, you're the, you're the heart of the team this year. Yeah. And you always have been, but, you know, there was Curtis and Rambo and the whole crew. How's that feel different to you this year? Do you feel some added responsibility? Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't think so. You know, obviously, you know, new challenges and stuff for me. But um, you know, I'm obviously you know embracing that, and I'm really excited. All right, and uh, who will be on attack with you on yeah. Saturday against Bucknell, or is that still up in the air? That's still up in the air right now. I mean. Um, you know, we have guys competing every day. You never know who's going to be playing. You know, who's the, the who's the basic five guys then? Five guys. Um, I would say right now. I mean, obviously me, Logue. You know, Bubs is in the mix there. Um, up the midfield, we have Will Snyder from last year, um, and then some younger guys that are competing. You know, doing a great job competing for that. Anthony DeMeo, You know, obviously we have him back, um, which is great. But you know, it's still up in the air. How great was it last year to see Will Snyder like come alive? It was great. It was awesome. You know, off the field, just you know, great, great leader. Very low key guy, um, does things, um, you know, that really has, you know, a voice and people really listen to him. And I was really excited for all his hard work that, you know, being on the scout team and kind of transferring onto the field, it was, it was really great. Your first year here, national championship, how phenomenal was that for you to come on that, to come in right away and make that happen? It was awesome, um, you know, knowing coming in, had a lot of, you know, veteran guys, but, you know, that year was really special, learned a lot from those guys, um, tried to learn as much as possible, um, knowing, you know, down the road, you know, hopefully I'll be in their shoes one day and, um, you know, like I said, just learned a lot from those guys. They're great guys, not only on the field and great players, but off the field as well. Still keep in touch with many of them. So your brother's coach of uh, more on the defensive side and face-off side or whatever. How's it feel to be playing under his tutelage? Just put it that way. It's great. I mean, just him kind of. People always make jokes uh, how we don't really talk as much, but it's kind of it's nice having him here. You know, be able to get close with him, um, spend time with him every now and then. So it's really it's really good. And how's Jake doing? He's doing good. He's doing real good. Um, up in Vermont right now. He's had a couple of uh, scrimmages. They did pretty well in, um, but he's doing real good. Uh, I don't know if you know this, and I know you always shun these things aside, but you were listed as possibly one of the top 10 D1 players of the year yesterday inside the cross. That's quite a feat. Now, I know you're only worried about winning titles. That's where it's all at. Yeah. But uh, it looks like coming to Maryland has turned out great for you. Yeah, it's, you know, I mean, I kind of knew what I was getting, you know, before I came here with Coach Tills. Obviously, brothers came here, um, and that was kind of a big part of why I came here. Um, you know, obviously, like I said, I was joking around before. I didn't, I don't really see those things, those accolades and all that stuff. You know, I just try to come out and work every day, you know, and hopefully, you know, that stuff works out in the, in the long run. One thing you can't hide from is the number one on your jersey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. What does that, what did that mean to you when the coach said, Jerry, you're getting number one. You know, Rambo and yeah. the, everybody else before you. Yeah, it was a great, it was a great honor. Um, you know, I respect all those guys that were before me. Um, you know, I looked up to them, and I'm just really, really honored to be able to wear that and um, wear it proudly for the state of Maryland, for a team, for the coaches, family, you know, all of them out there who are fans who are supporting us. Consulting engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. It's back a long way. It's yeah. not like it just happened. No. You know, even a guy like Catalino. Mm -hmm. Was it, uh, wasn't that long ago? But yeah. And yep. Rambo and now Jared Bernhardt and Connor Kelly and Joe Walter. Bugsy and yeah. Joe Walter. Yeah. Joe Walters. Uh, you ever, when you got that number one, did any of these guys say, hey man, congratulations? Uh, yeah, actually they did. Uh, you know, reached out, you know, obviously 
happy for me. Um, happy for me, you know, wishing me good luck on the season. Um, but yeah, nothing, nothing too bad. But you know, just you know, wishing me luck on the season. They're happy if uh, I was able to get the number. How do the scrimmages go these against Marquette and George now? It's early right now. Um, you know, they're, I think they went pretty well. Obviously, work on. We need to work on things. It's, like I said, it's early, early in the season. But you know, well, that's why you scrimmage. Yep, exactly. So I mean, pretty much just like our practices, our game prep. So um, you know, obviously, they're going to help us. We're able to you know fix some things and take that into this upcoming week. Okay, well, it's going to be a great season. You open up Saturday against Bucknell. And, like, you don't know who the attack is. Do we know who the midfield is? Probably not. Nope. Still, still up in the air. We'll see. Danny Dolan we'll see. will be in the nets most likely, or is that still up in the That's, air? I think it's still up in the air. I'm pretty sure, I mean, Dan's got, got that spot right now. Um, but, you know, who knows? You know, but we have guys competing every day. You know, You're guys deep working there. You're hard. very deep there. Very deep. Very deep. Um, you know, obviously just guys just buying into what we're doing. And, you know, that will help us down, down the road. Well, we wish the best of luck. And, uh, you. I have full confidence in your leadership. Thank you. All right, it's in the bloodlines. It runs true. <laughs> Thank All right, you. Thanks, Thank you. Jared. Thank you.